everybody this is cost viewer and today i'm going to share with you excel lifo model lifo stands for last in first out after i put on youtube fifo model lots of people ask me if i could also build a lifo model as well and actually it turned out that to be not so simple because i really needed a function which is available in Excel 365 and which is called text join. So whoever wants to use this model, you guys must run the latest, the very latest Excel 365 model. Otherwise it's not going to work for you. Sorry. Now where that model can be found for those who just want to get their hands on that model, you just go to my website costviewer.com switch to english go to downloads and just hover your mouse pointer over excel life model click and it's going to be downloaded for you guys once you are on my website i strongly recommend you visit tutorials website tutorials tab in which you can find uh, several tutorials about my unique software which is extremely useful for whoever deals with activity-based costing, for example. Uh, please take your time and have a look at my uh, tutorials here. Now back to Excel, life model for anybody else who is interested how it works. Let me say a few words, as in all other of my models. Anything that is gray is not editable, is not meant to be changed. Anything that is white shaded is editable. So how this model works? Here we have a section of what you purchase. Uh, if you need to expand the model, just you know highlight a row and just insert as many rows as you need. Then highlight one row, copy it, highlight the destination area, paste it, and that's it. Here you put usage or sales or consumption, whatever that is. This gray area here again is automatically calculated and it just tells you how many and what type of items are left or your, on your inventory. In the upper side of the model, again, you have a summary which summarizes the, the lower, the part that is beneath summary section. A and likewise here, if you need to insert rows, I suggest you just highlight row 10, insert few rows, and then copy, for example, row nine, further down and that's it and just keep adding your SKUs here if you if you once you add more SKUs just highlight for example these four columns and copy them to the right from column BN and onwards to the right and that's it now back to the model so what I did here I prepared a very simple example so let's say you first you buy first batch of product A you buy six quantities five let's say dollars each followed by another purchase six quantities but at four dollars each and so on and so forth so for example here if i say i'm going to use product sorry product a one unit of course that unit will be taken from this layer from the last batch yeah because this is last in first out and then, you know, if I just continue with two, three, four, five, etc., each of those items will be will have unit price two. So this will continue to be two up to the first 12 items here, right? So if I put 12, so I'm, I'm basically using up all of these, uh, all of this batch. So clearly what happens if I put now 13? Uh, what what is the value going to be of this of this cell it's going to be 24 plus 3 right because the next the next one batch earlier of this one is this batch so that should be 27 correct and again how many units i have 24 so up to 24 i will have value 60 why 60 because total value of this batch is this and of this one is this so total is 60 which can be seen also here so if I put 25 I should have 64 right because now I'm going to consume those items here and so on and so forth um, but uh, 
in between those batches A and B, I bought something, um, a product B1 item. So if I consume one item here, its unit value will be equal to this one, right? Of course, but let's say I change this X to B. And now look what happens. My unit price is now 17 cents, right? Because the first batch is this one, not that one, right? So, and that will continue to be so up to six, first six units, right? Because I bought here six units, 17 cents each. So my unit price is 17 cents e each. If I put seven, wow, now it's gonna be, total value will be eight then, right? Because this is one and seven, and that's my total value. If you want to understand better, because it's really hard to memorize yeah, what is left on your stock, what is left on your pile, uh, here I put um, a special uh, dynamic cell in which you can check what is left on your pile. So for example, when, when, I, when you choose from drop down list uh, product B, you can see that right now you have nothing here left until, until, um, until here. And of this, of this budget, you only have five items left. And why is it so? Because here we consumed five items, right? And these five items were consumed from this layer. But here we, we consumed everything. However, if I put six, you see now I have one item left here. Because that six consumed all of these six items. And this one is still and this one is still unused so this is how it works and if you guys have any any other interest in in more details all the really hardest part is hidden here so but this is only for for some excel geeks or nerds <laughs> really crazy people and uh, you can find some 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 crazy uh crazy excel formulas which uh, um, i built and in order to help uh, you understand it, I put, I added some some extra comments here, how it works, because I think it's it's really really you know difficult. However, if there is anybody who is interested in 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 the mechanics of this, there are some tricky formulas which uh, you may find extremely useful in your work. So you just you know need to take a look at this. And well, as I always say, guys, you just enjoy the model, share it with others, whoever needs this. I know in uh, international accounting standards forbid using uh, LIFO, however, it is allowed in, in US GAAP in America. So I suppose a lot of people in USA must have been challenged with this task to perform it in Excel. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the model. It works. I really did not test it how many hundreds of rows or thousands of rows it it can be you know capable of calculating but feel free to to test it to track it to check it but i i suppose it should be really workable until you know for at least few hundred items few hundred rows and uh, that's it you know maybe last thing uh, the model still has keeps this conditional formatting so if you for example type in excessive amount of usage of items that you want to sell or s consume use whatever which is beyond what you purchase then the cell turns red of course yeah so so the, the the number has to be respectively low to um to make the whole calculation make sense so in case of any questions, comments, feel free to drop them below my um, my tutorial. Enjoy the model. Good luck. I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, it's um, weighted average um, inventory calculation is also coming up. Weighted average for uh, numerous SKUs. Take care. Bye.